Oh, did you? <laughs> Wait, stop the recording. No, don't stop. Let me just... Hold on. Because I'm there still making the GTA thing. Yeah. You move, or like scale, or quarter man down. Yeah. So it's not the cover <laughs> of the screen. It says no. Take quick. I'm having a crisis. I I can't find pants that match this. I can't find uh, the special. Area where I can put on my what scarf. What's with the short shorts? Like, <laughs> put on some short shorts as the old man. Do it. <laughs> yeah, much better. Make that your make that your new <laughs> swimming outfit. No. Make it your swimming outfit. No. Come on, that and a golden chain. That's <laughs> That's all you need. That's all you need. You'll be Pimp Daddy. What what pants do you think would work with this? With what? The shirt? The my, sweater? My sweater. Yeah. Just get some, like, gray or black uh, suit pants. Alright, I just need to buy my scarf and I'll go play Kadawa Shoujo. Have you been recording this whole time? Oh my god. Oh good. Is this going in the fucking video? Oh my god, Sonic. You're very good at this. Oh yeah, he's not gonna edit it. Okay, cool. So then cut this part out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just have like... 10 minutes of dead air at the start of the video, that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah! You're right! Good idea! Hey, you're almost well, lucky. I almost bought a mic. And then I didn't. Yeah, well, I almost bought uh, one of the ones you were... Well, not one of the ones you were recommending to clock but one yeah one of the actual yeah uh let me look what i was looking at somewhere on here oh maybe i didn't bookmark it well guess i'm dead all right i'm logging out now i'm gonna cut off yeah. sugar but yeah i was gonna get a condenser mic and then i just didn't because I was, like, I was like okay i'll also have to get Phantom 
powers, yeah. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Oh, and I would also have to, um, like, set up an actual arm or something. Catalyst Shoujo, V1.3.1. Oh. Four of these studios. Uh, load. Oh, yes, it didn't. It didn't. Alright, you prepared? Alright. I feel very tired this morning. Probably because yesterday itself was a very tiring day. Woo! I'm very sad. Yeah, can we just keep playing that? <laughs> just just someone, it, play someone, that for the whole just video. Just that out of the recording. And just keep, just loop it every time. Oh, hold on. Chocolate rain. I oh. can get this mic tomorrow. On, on top of hours. that... <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, I woke up far earlier than necessary. After saying hi to Shizun and Misha, that's her name, I start doing the work as instructed from the board. It already looks like today is going to be heavy. I don't have a problem with that, though. Now, though, Shizun and Misha might jump on me trying to get an answer about whether or not I've decided to join the student council, even if it's just one day. I wouldn't put it past them to try, and I don't have an answer for them if they do. So the situation is convenient for me. About ten minutes into class, Hanako walks in and takes a seat, but no one looks at her. The teacher doesn't even comment on her neatness. He does, however, stop us to say that we're going to break into groups again. Hold on. There. He does, however, stop us to say that we're going to break into groups again. I turn my head and see that Shizun and Misha are looking at me. Shizun gives me a smile that is equal parts cute and menacing. This is a smile that says, We have you now. There is no escape. He chan it looks like we're together again. Yay! Misha leans sideways while Shizun pushes her desk closer to mine. There really is no escape now unless I were to jump through the window. Jumping at the window isn't the... Alright, this is the end of Kato Shoujo. Thank you for joining me on this journey that I want to kill myself on. He said nothing. Nato, nato. Jumping at the window isn't the best option, sadly. Yes, it is. Shizun says nothing, because he's a fucking mute. What's wrong, he chan Actually, if you could uh, say what, like, the character name before every line, that would be very good. Okay, Misha. Oh, Hee-chan. Have you been thinking about what you said yesterday? Hold on. Hey, you said you were thinking about joining the student council, didn't you? Misha. It's okay, He-chan. We were talking about it after you left, and it would be rude to expect you to already have an answer for us this early. Right? Right. Misha. Ha 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 I'm so happy you two are able to laugh at my expense. This is me talking. Or thinking. And even more pleased to know that you both know how crazy the two of you can be. Shizune... Shizun snaps back into a serious mode and smacks the his assignment on the back of her hand in an over-important way. When I actually look at the stuff, it's mostly just reading. In fact, there are only two problems. I almost want to say something about her rush to get started seems a little bit much, considering the small amount of work. In fact, Shizun probably knows how little there is and simply doesn't care. Yeah, it seems like the workload doesn't matter to her as much as the fact that there is work. The actual amount is unimportant. She approaches everything with the same level of 
While I'm reading, I let my eyes wander around the room to catch Hanako trying her hand at solving the problems. It looks like she's working alone. I can't remember seeing her working with other people before. Thinking back to how shy she is, it's understandable. Hey, that girl over there, I start. What? <laughs> huh. Who, he chan Her. Hanago, over there. Does she always work alone? I question. I think so, he chan Do you feel sorry for her because she's alone? Says Misha. I was just thinking that maybe she could work with us or something. I say, solemnly. Hmm. No, I don't think that'd be a good idea, he chan She's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? She chan wouldn't get along with her. She says, Why? Misha shuffles around the question, letting out a laugh that sounds very strange. It's nervous, but still has that... That's not a word. Wilting... Oh, yes, it is. Wilting up and down quality, present and everything she says. Just because, he chan By now, Shizun has noticed our conversation and makes me realize again how Misha has been signing everything she has been saying this whole time. Anger face, says Shizun. What, Shi Chan? The friend of my enemy is my enemy? That sounds so harsh. I'm not gonna say that. You said it anyway. I let her know. I know, He Chan. It's fine if you overhear. I wonder if this is Misha's way of keeping things fair, since without her, I wouldn't be able to understand the things Shizun is saying, and vice versa. Is that also why she signs all the time? So there's never a conversation that Shizun will be left out of? Scratches my hand. Shizun says dot dot dot. Anyway, we should start on the problems now, He Chan. Am I pronouncing that right? Is it He Chan and She Chan? Nobody knows. Good. It's uh, empirically impossible to find out. Awesome. We finished with time to spare, and I decided to ask if there are any alternatives to the cafeteria. And frankly, the food so far has been super. That's not a word. Super. That's <laughs> some par. Some par. That's it's not a word. It's, it's superb or super. Not to par. Oh. Oh wait, no. Yep, no, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stole. I'm an English minor. I'm an English minor. <laughs> this sends Shizu and Misha arguing among themselves with their favorite about their favorite restaurants. All of them are downtown, so I don't think we have time to go to all the way down there. And what about the bill? Are they arguing just for the fun of it? Maybe. They seem so distracted by it that they don't even notice the start of the actual lunch break. From my shoulder towards the back of the classroom. She seems to be studying her notes from the previous class. It's an odd sight. Everyone else in class is busying themselves up with the lunch break, socializing, gossiping, rearranging desks. Ha! <laughs> the ones with actual boxed lunches mixed in and chattering like everyone else, only interrupted by short bouts of eating. <laughs> but when I watch Hanako, it feels that I'm the only one who can see her, almost as if she was invisible, sort of hiding in plain sight. Is she being bullied? Is she isolating herself from the rest of the class on her own accord? I see her look over her shoulder towards the classroom's rear door. Come to think of it, she hasn't turned a page since I started watching her. I guess she's waiting for someone. What to do? Ooh, what to do? Ooh. Ooh. Should I go talk to the lonely girl? Or should I read my book? I think. I think if it was me, if this was me, Ramsey, I would go and try to say hello. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't read. <laughs> yeah, you don't I never read. 
Oh, we'll go talk you're, to Hanukkah. You're, su you're super at reading. I'm super at reading. <laughs> Ah, uh, I told one of my friends from Nikado Shoujo, and he says, always go for the girl with the prosthetic legs. She's bae. She's okay. She's... No, no, no. Well, wait. Yeah, no, she doesn't suck. She's like, she's good, but she's not the best by any means. Oh, shit. Uh, how do you go back again? Because I accidentally clicked. Uh, scroll wheel. Up. Yeah. I still feel bad for making her run away yesterday, so I better say something. Uh, hey there, Hanako. <laughs> Isa? Or Ramsey, rather? Well, at least you remember. <laughs> Ramsey! <laughs> well, at least she remembers my name. Hey, I, uh, just wanted to apologize for yesterday. I didn't mean for, to startle you or anything. I'm just new here, and thought I should get to know my classmates. As Hanukkah looks up at me, I notice her once more. It's a little bewildering that you can barely notice it from across the room, and it's so noticeable from up close. It, that's okay. It, it was my fault. Nah, that wasn't anyone's fault. It just kind of happened. So, are you waiting for me? I saw you looking at the door before. Shut up, thank you. Yes, Lily. Oh, you mean Lily the blind girl? <laughs> I'm inconsiderate! <laughs> I can only nod to response. You mean I blind can't help but wonder if defining people through dis disabilities uh, is a faux pas in the, of the worst kind or just normal around here. <laughs> That's right, Fox Paws. I guess that explains why Lily took off after her yesterday. She seems like a nice girl. Are you two friends? I question. Yes, she replies meekly. As if hoping for Lily to appear, she checks over her shoulder again. I think I'm making her nervous again. I hope I'm not disturbing you right now. No, what the fuck is that? Hold on. Stare at her beautiful eyes for a moment. Ah, okay. N no, that's not it. It's just easier if Lily doesn't come here. Oh, because it's hard to get around the classroom. Not really, she replies. Hanako's gaze sh drifts past my shoulders and towards Shizun. Shizun? Hanako nods again. What about her? Don't think it along? Hanako shakes her head. Clearly, this is something she doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> they start You're wars, right. but can never find or hear each other. <laughs> they can't hear the bullets. They can't see the bullets. <laughs> and everybody I'm sorry dies. if I offended anyone. Except for you. Except for Tank, he's a fag. I hope he's a feminine. It does make a strange sort of sense. She's and Lily not getting along so well. Communication between the two would be all but impossible. It's hard enough talking to Shizun through Misha, even when you can see whose hands are talking. Hanako is so focused on Shizun that I am the first to notice Lily at the door. Oh, she's here now, I say. Hanako spins around to confirm this. Upon seeing Lily, she moves quickly to the door. Lily! Ah, Hanako. Good morning. Is the president here? She says. I yes. Hanako glances over her shoulder at Shizun again, as if to confirm she can't hear them, even though that's impossible. <laughs> I get a funny joke! I suppose we'd best be off then. Lily's sigh and tone of voice seems like frustration. It makes me raise an eyebrow. I guess there's some kind of enmity between the two. What's that word? An enema? Yeah, there's some kind of enema between the two. It's intriguing, but that's not really something I'd ask about. 
I'm sure if they wanted me to know, they would tell me. It's only my third day here. What? It's only three days? We've been playing for like... Yeah, you've, you've played this in real time. <laughs> I knew it. I, I felt like my beard has grown longer. <laughs> it's only my third day here. I should be trying to make friends, not finding out why people are enemies. Still, it's a little funny to find out that the school has little feuds, just like my old high school. <laughs> I thought these retards didn't know what feud was. <laughs> you, even if people are more tolerant of others, they're still going to get on each other's nerves. <laughs> you, you're too blind. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. Do it again. <laughs> hey, Lily. What? I can't hear you. Hey, Lily. How are things? I'm sorry I made you run off yesterday. Oh my, is that his out? Or Ramsey? That is out. Who's his out? I didn't realize you were here. <laughs> yeah, me too. It seems that. Isn't it funny that I'm only making friends with girls? I mean, no. there's. there's That's Ken how it should be. There is Kenji, but he's a girl. Have you ever been to so. high school? No. Alright. And. There's. Yeah, Kenji's not a. They don't Kenji's speak, not a dude, though. Yeah, he doesn't go to school, he just goes to the extracurricular bits. Oh, good. They're just blobs of flesh. Anyway. It seems that Lily is a little embarrassed about me being so frank in front of me. About being so... And I'm gonna fuck my asshole and see what happens. S sorry, Lily. I thought you'd realized. No, it's alright, Hanukkah. You're just a stupid bitch. I get it. Ramsey, please don't worry about yesterday. It was just a misunderstanding. If uh, you say so, I'm still working this place out. Well then, I think you'll find most people here a lot more forgiving than elsewhere. If you are feeling a little confused, please don't be afraid to ask questions. Sure. Oh my god, sure. I'll remember that. <laughs> that fucking... He's already so old, he's having heart attacks. <laughs> I didn't know my character was in this. Yeah. I'll start calling this character Tink. No, it's me. You think you can be Hanukkah? <laughs> That'll be a problem if we get on Hanukkah's route. Why? Why? We'll find out. <laughs> Why? Um, Lily. Does Hanukkah have a dick? Is that it? Lily. I wish. Hey, Lily, wait, do we have um, Sonic? Are you playing this in censored mode? It's in there in the menus. We don't need to do it now, but you know. Wait, censored? Otherwise you get banned. What do you... What would need to be censored? Nothing. No, hold on now, big cat. The swearing. <laughs> yeah, the swearing. Good. Lily gives a small nod oh, of acknowledgement. You haven't given the, the swearing character yet. That's only in the one room. Yeah, good. I'm sorry, Ramsey, but we must be off. Hanako, or Tink, really doesn't look... All that comfortable no, we can't, here we right can't now. Do this unless the <laughs> voice is Hanukkah. All right, all right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. And Lily still seems a little embarrassed. Sonic, you're now Hanukkah. I wonder if my. Oh yeah, that's right. Because nobody can hear you because you're fucking oh, dumb. <laughs> I wonder if my apologies. I wonder if my apologies really made an impact. Mind if I accompany you too, I ask? They both look at me and say, No, fuck you, you're a little bitch. But, I'm just kind of pushing it. Lily hums quietly, still smiling. I'm sure that we could accommodate you, can't we, Hanukkah? She looks at Lily, then at me, and then she freezes, wide-eyed. Sure. Well then. Shall we go? Says Lily. 
I'm sure Lily wouldn't do this so easily if she saw how scared Hanako looks, but can't be helped now. Declining after the deal was sealed would only cause confusion and problems. And now the painting is back. And I still wonder what it is. So we there leave. Better paintings. All three together. Are they? Because they all look the same. You'll see that. Yeah, the art teacher is good. Do I get to have a romance with her? Oh, hold on. What do you mean, her? <coughs> but yeah. With him? Nice. Lily walks beside the wall, letting her cane gently tap it every now and then. Hanako comes along the right side of her, so close that she's practically half-hugging her as they go. Although it must make her walking that much harder, Lily takes it in stride. As we turn around the corner of the hallway, something hits me in the chest with the force of a steam train. My god! Not again! You're dead. Hanako shrieks a little, and my vision briefly goes back. Well, that was Katawa Shoujo. <laughs> yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Comment how you would comment on the next video, and then, uh... Wait. <laughs> oh, it's her. Okay. Well, I thought that my character had another heart attack, so... Ouch. Well, hold on, we've still got time. While opening my eyes, I see a pair of saucer-like green eyes looking up at me. Oh, she's pretty. Oh! She's the prosthetic leg girl. They they belong to the perpetrator. A short girl who bumped into me and has now fallen down onto the hallway floor. She wear <laughs> You know why? I don't have any legs. She she wears a PE uniform and a very worried frown. The former strikes me as a rather strange thing to have during a lunch break. More striking than that though, is that she doesn't have legs. Oh, nice zoom in. Thanks, kind of a <laughs> Or, this or is she what they does. In the, uh... What? No, they don't. Yeah, no, they censor this in the, in the non adult yeah. version. Yeah, is that, is that so? Yeah. Or she does, but they are not a flesh and bone. Her pale and very much flesh and bone thighs and then shins and feet made of some kind of black metallic or plastic like material. They look disturbingly artificial and unnatural. It almost makes me forget that my chest is hurting. The girl winces. Did I skip something by chance? Oh. The girl winces a little, rubs her nose, and jumps up. Wow, impressive. Oh, nice short shorts. The it's Twin Tails girl looks at me and says, Oh, man, are you alright? I'm sorry about that, really. I wasn't looking where I was going, and you just kind of came out of nowhere. Sorry, sorry. She looks really apologetic, in the hurt puppy way of looking apologetic. I quickly forget about being angry or anything, since hurt puppies are my weak spot. Oh my. No it doesn't! Stop, please! <laughs> you're lying! That's a lie! Any direction you're going with that is a lie. <laughs> I look at the prosthetic legged girl and say, It's okay. Don't worry about it. Ouch. Oh, so that's why she lost her legs. No. Dump, dump. I say that, but there's a stinging pain growing in my chest, and I know that this is about the biggest possible danger for my condition. Don't overexert yourself, don't forget your medication, and most of all, don't get hit in the chest. Thump, thump. I try to rub my solar plexus to chase the pain away, holding my breath in in an attempt to keep, to hear my heartbeat. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. The real issue is actually that you're allergic to lemons. Is so, that... you know, that's like the third act twist. Really? Wow, thanks yeah. for the fucking... Yeah, thanks well. for the fucking What's spoiler. What's the spoilers? Yeah, come on, what is this? This is my kind of a show to experience. It matters. It's the journey. Yeah. <laughs> it seems... normal. Hey, should I get a nurse? Says the Twin Tails girl. The worried, high-pitched voice of the girl snaps me out of it. Tink. I need you to download Kaido's Shoujo. I need you to get to where I am. 
but I need you to use your uh, your little chipmunk voice to, to yeah. voice this chick. <laughs> I stare at her for a few seconds. <laughs> I'm getting strange looks for playing this game. Yeah, but you don't matter. <laughs> I stare at her for a few seconds, dumbfounded, until I realized that I probably looked worse off than I really was. Doubled over myself, looking all tense. Damn, I'm overly worried about my heart. Er, no need, I'm fine, I say reassuringly. Managing to say something in response, I pull myself upright. Healing my sore ribs one last time and taking a deep breath. Damn it, what just happened? Okay. She just knocked the wind out of me. Big time. But it's nothing more than that. You sure you're okay? I, I hit you pretty hard. It's okay. I said I was fine and nothing's broken. No harm done. That's good. I was... He's out. What happened? She's not quite up to speed for obvious reasons, but she sounds very worried. More than what the situation deserves, really. Ah, someone bumped into me. Nothing serious, just winded. Er, sorry, it's my fault. I was just going to get some stuff and I was kind of in a hurry. That someone here is Emmy, isn't it? Emmy? You mean? Am I? Emmy. Uh, the little girl coughs quietly and shuffles her plastic or metallic feet, looking down at them before saying anything. Hi, Lily. Hanako. I guess the girls know each other. Do please try to be more careful. You might be sturdy enough to endure these sorts of accidents, but there are people who aren't. The girl blushes and starts to fidget nervously like a child caught misbehaving. It's so cute, I find myself smiling. I know that! I... I am... Um, I was just... Ah! I gotta go! Teacher lapped my head. I promised help with printouts, but I went running instead. Sorry, but I've got to change and everything. Oh, nice sound effects. Of the... Of the legs. <laughs> Before any of us can say a thing, Emmy has already bolted down, leaving the hallway eerily quiet. Does that kind of thing happen often around here? I ask. There are more rules than the usual for running in corridors. But that really stops Emmy, it seems, says Lily. She shakes her head weakly and offers a slight, composed smile. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop her, I'm afraid. Shall we be off then? Lily heads off down the hallway, and Hanako hurries after her. The route to the room, the two of us, to, huh. The route to the room, the two use for tea, is fairly simple to retrace, but being still fresh in my mind from yesterday. Dude, I'm sorry, I can't read for shit, apparently. Lily and Hanako quickly go about the business of making lunch. Before I can even open my small bag of food, Lily's busy herself with the thermos and tea bags as Hanako is setting out both their lunch boxes. So, is this what you meant by coming here almost every day? Yes, Hanako and I usually have lunch here. It suits both of us, so we ended up using this room regularly. <sighs> I'm very sorry for my gross sickness. After seeing Hanako's reaction to me over the past couple of days, I can understand why this is a boon. That and Lily being able to get some quiet away from her class as well. I take my seat last after Lily's poured the tea for us and sits down. The more time I spend with the two girls, the more I think they're a perfect foil to Misha and Shizune. Even without a voice, Shizuna's is direct and brash, and Misha seems to get along with her, with everyone. On the other hand, Lily is soft-spoken and relaxed, while Hanako seems to be the shyest girl I've ever met. 
that and I'm handsome and have long brown hair and they both definitely have a crush on me except Lily can't see me because she's fucking blind. So, how are you faring in Yamaku? Yep, Yamaku. Ramsey, you uh, seemed a bit flustered before. Uh, apart from getting lost every now and then and being crash tackled outside my classroom, fine, I guess. You, uh, you looked pretty hurt before. Are you really okay? Says Hanako. For a brief moment, I considered telling Hanako and Lily about my condition, but then uh, I hold them back. I can't tell why, but for some reason I feel uncomfortable talking about it to these relative strangers, even if they have been pretty friendly. Yeah, it's nothing. I was just a bit startled. Judging from the two girls' expressions, I don't think that they're buying it. But in what I assume is their way of respecting my privacy, they don't press the matter. I guess that is one of the unwritten rules around here. Don't ask. Even if people's conditions are obvious, like Hanako's, there's still bound to be a story involved. Okay, hold on. Why is Hanako in this school for disabled people? She's just burned. Yeah. But... Well, oh, I, I don't want to know, because I don't want her rap. <laughs> no offense to the girl or anything, but... Is she? I don't know, I'll find out. If it's if it's in, if it's it's in within my character, cool. I'll do it. Everyone has things that they don't feel comfortable speaking about, and I think everyone here recognizes that. So, uh, how long you been in the school? You both seem to know your way around pretty well. Hmm. Well, I've been here since the start of high school, but only moved into the dormitories a year ago, silly. Hanako joined at the start of high school as well, and moved to the dormitories when she did, if memory serves me right. That's right, since high school, Hanako says. So, you've known each other since then, I say? I ask? I, I say ask? Since I moved, yes. Hanako lives next door to me, so it's only natural, right? R right. Yeah, of course. Living next to someone is probably reason enough to be friendly. Though I'm guessing that Lily's blindness played a part in that as well. I can't imagine Hanako easily making friends with someone who has deliberately avoided... Who has to deliberately avoid looking at her scars! But the immediate conversation is right out. We start to eat our lunch. It isn't long before the bells are signaling the end of the break. Like me, the girls pack up their lunches, lunches as efficiently as they set them out. I guess I'd better be off. Are you going with Ramsey, Hanako? Hanako looks up at me, and for a second I can see that she's considering skipping class, maybe just to avoid walking to the classroom with me. Yes. I don't know what to think of it. Hanako really is delicate to the point of breaking if looked at in the wrong way. It makes me a bit nervous, too. <laughs> Don't say it, Sonic. It makes me a bit nervous, too, but I push the feeling aside, trying to be as natural as I can. Don't break, please. Sonic, please. Sink, please. Sonic, sink. Sink. That's your ship, man. Sink. We should hurry, then. Class has already started by the sounds of it. Lily gives a nod of farewell as she bends down to take her cane, and Hanako and I... Hanako and I filing before her. We walk quickly down the empty halls to our respective classes. As we reach the door to Lily's 3-2 class, she turns towards me. Ramsey, thank you for sharing lunch with us today. My pleasure, Lily. And with that, we part ways. Lily entering the hall of the classroom, leaving Hanako and me to make off to our own. She's still looking at me like she wants to run away. So, do you really want to go back to class now? Y yes. Okay, then, I say. I feel like I should say something more of her, but it's hard to come up with anything that would be appropriate and safe enough. And Lily was right. The more time we spend out here, the more explaining we have to do. I open the room of the class and walk in. The teacher looks up at me and opens his mouth to say something. 
However, as Hanako follows me and closes the door, he simply nods to us and continues his lecture. This is the third time that Hanako has had her truancy practically ignored. There's definitely something going on here. We make our way to our seats, and I notice that Misha and Shizune are both missing as well. I wonder if it's some form of informal agreement with the staff, or if it's a perk afforded to the unique students of the school. But I'm trying to make as little disturbance as I can. I extract the relevant textbooks from my bag and start catching up. The class goes on quietly. The teacher seems like an okay person, despite the weird first impression I got. And the material is relatively interesting. However, the way he teaches... <laughs> and this is the end of Katawa Shoto for the third time. Ah? However... Spoiling. Fuck. No spoil. How... Alright. However, the way he teaches is really bizarre. It's as if he expects that everyone is a natural genius. When the final bell sounds, I realize that there's a lot of time left in the day, and I'm left wondering what to do. It's odd, at the hospital I had 24 hours a day of free time, but here feeling the considerably short hours feels difficult. Everyone else leaves, and I'm left alone with the teacher. Muto? 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 Is examining the assignment sheets yeah, we keep, were working on earlier. Going. Let's see how racist we can get this accent. <laughs> What? <laughs> what the fuck? Mark came in with a red ball pin. Muto! 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 Raising his eyes from his papers briefly, he notices me and furrows his brow. What is it? Ramsey? <laughs> Ramsey, Ramsey, that's right, I remember my name. <laughs> I jump at him, addressing me. Oh, okay, never mind. I jump at him addressing me, but I guess it's natural to spark some conversation since there's nobody else around. Um, nothing. Thinking about what I do after school, I say. The teacher slowly puts the cap on his pen he is holding and arranges papers into a stack, clacking it against the desk twice. He seems very methodical. Oh my god, I can never say that word. Methodical. methodical. And for a brief moment, I reminded him of Shizun, but. The teacher is more unhurried and relaxed, and not deaf, much more routine. You have no plans? No, I considered joining a club, but don't know what kind of club would interest me. Go observe a meeting with someone else's club. It might pique your interest. I guess. It's PQ, thank you. I just, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> you hate Damn French you. people, shut up. Pecan! Pecan! Thank you, it's Pecan! Pecan, bye! <laughs> but I don't know how to continue from there. Muto looks at me in a way that makes me quickly want to take my words back to, back to avoid a conversation. But I can't, so I have to forge ahead. I just don't know how to deal with people. I mean, the other students. I'm talking to people and everything, so it's not that it'd be isolated or anything. I just don't want to think about the disabilities. It's like, it feels that I'm being impolite if I pay attention to them, and it's weird to ignore them. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. DON'T SWEAR IN FRONT OF THE TEACHER! MY GOD! The teacher scratches his cheek absentmindedly, almost looking unresponsive. Sonic, stop giggling. <laughs> these, th <laughs> these things are only an issue if you make them one, says Muto. You can talk normally with someone, even if they are blind or something. Try to look behind the superficial. There's not a single student here who's who isn't just a normal kid behind whatever they might seem at first glance. He says the same thing as... Yuko did. Wait, who's Yuko? Uh, that's the librarian. Oh, oh right. I know they're right, but it's hard. 
how can you not consider, for example, Shizun's deafness when the only way to communicate with her is talking through Misha? Or Hanako? It's not like you can just ignore her face. Look at her face, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's what you do. Thanks. Here's what you do if someone has like an ugly scar on their face. Look directly at their chest. That's where my scar is, so it won't help. No. Looking right at it. Look at their crotch. Too bad it what? Do you? Yeah, right, right in the middle. Doesn't have as much Hanako as it should. Yeah, come on. Just right in the middle of the video. Give it to me. Just play it live. Yeah, play it live, and I'll listen to it during the, the recording. Yeah, do it live. No, we do it live. Right, well, yeah, you did cover it. Well, actually, oh, that's right, I don't yeah. think he would. But well, I mean, you could still. always just buy rights to it, but... Uh -huh. Yeah, just buy rights for... <laughs> anyway, he's out, no, says, but... Exists. Oh my god! I'm, I'm interrupted by the door of the classroom, suddenly slamming open. Teacher! Says Misha. Misha crashes in, hands straight in an enthusiastic greeting, her voice loud and lively enough to wake the dead from their graves.